Now, the community of Westbury here in Johannesburg is set to gather this evening for a memorial service for teenager Jan Furi. Furi was gunned down at the weekend when she was caught in the middle of an alleged gang fight while she was making her way home from a party. Let's get the latest now from our reporter, Mangoba Mkuno, who is on the ground. Mangoba, good evening. Well, what's the situation like now ahead of this memorial service uh, for Jan Furi? Well, but that I can tell you that uh, many community members here are still trying uh, to make sense of the killing uh, that happened here in this community. Of course, it comes uh, just after, uh, you know, the police deployments here uh, were retracted. Uh, we know, Derek uh, Braden, that uh, the police minister was here in this community just a few months ago, and there was a deployment of police uh, here in this community to ensure uh, safety. This is after a spate of shootings that are taking place here in this community around about April where we saw uh, about 13 people being shot and some of them dying. And of course it has been a matter of uh, grave concern for many residents here who say that uh, they were fearing for their lives in the past few months. And so this death has certainly left many here uh, reeling and still uh, trying to find answers as to how such a young child was killed. This is uh, an 11-year-old child, but then somebody who was at primary school, uh, who was attending, in fact, uh, not far from her home. It's just uh, across the road from where she was living. She was a grade six pupil at that primary school and uh, the parents saying that you know they're quite shocked uh, at how this all unfolded they were called on saturday evening uh, just to receive the news uh, that uh, their daughter had been uh, shot and when they went there she was still alive uh, and they managed uh, to take her into a vehicle uh, then rushed her to hospital uh, the mother saying that uh, she died in her arms so you know the community still really shocked at this incident and especially you know given uh, the amount of shootings and killings that have happened in this community many of them are going to be gathering here this afternoon uh, to pay their tributes but also to mourn as a community of this uh, young life that was cut so brutally short in what uh, they say is gang rivalry and gang wars that continue in this community but then it's not the first incident that has uh, occurred in this community you recall that back in 2014 another three-year-old boy luke tibbetts was also killed in this community he was sitting on his mother's lap in a car when a stray bullet had hit him in the head and uh, he had passed on a few days after that but also in 2018 there was then another shooting where Heather Peterson, a 45-year-old woman, was shot and killed. Uh, you know, she was also caught in the crossfire of, uh, you know, a shootout that was happening at the time in the area. She was with a 10-year-old niece at the time who also sustained injuries uh, at that particular point. Of course, it led to protests uh, in this community, but uh, the community members are saying that, uh, you know, it doesn't seem to be helping the promises that have been made, the interventions that have been made by police are seemingly not helping. And earlier on, we also spoke to the mother, who's still inconsolable, but then who says that her child did not deserve to die in this manner. Take a listen to what she had to say on this. Becky Kale was here. Yeah. It didn't make a difference. Yeah. Um, Westbury, we remember the time when we rioted and we tried to make, we tried to be loud, we tried, the, what Westbury tried was to, to make their voices heard when they, when we did what we did, but then how did the police react? Our children were shot with, 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 with rubber bullets, you know, they were just trying to, 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 to find that help, and I mean, how many lives are we going to lose more? What, 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 what more do we have to do to prevent it? Because it's just not ending, it's not ending. But it's definitely gangsterism that killed my child. Nothing, it's not a mistake. It's gangsterism. And that's what has been happening these past few years. I yes, we grew up with gangsters in Westbury, but it was never as worse as this. So the police... Um... Well, I didn't speak to the police, right? They didn't come and ask me for a statement to investigate. Besides, they can't. I wasn't there. I don't know what happened, so they can't ask me for And that's what I'll tell them. I can't give you a statement. I don't know. I just found my child in the yard.
Yeah, it's a very grief-stricken mom there, Emma Ngoba. And uh, like she's coming across like she's lost hope uh, with, the, with the police service and she's blaming gang wars in, in, uh, in Westbury. And Saturday, Bratan, she's not the only mother here in this community that has lost a child. I mean, you speak to many residents here, they'll tell you that many families here have lost their loved ones to these gang wars that are continuing in this community. And, uh, you know, uh, just a short uh, a distance from here is, in fact, where uh, Luke Tibbetts was shot, right here on State Street. And it's one of the notorious streets here in the area that is well known uh, for, you know, a you know, when it comes uh, to some of these issues, uh, the drugs, the gangs, uh, and the wars that go on between these rival gangs here in the area. Of course, it's a long-standing issue, the issue of drugs in this community and the wars uh, that, uh, you know, also come with that. There are many families there in mourning, and then many of the parents that will be coming here will be coming here also knowing that uh, they've lost their children. I just want to show you behind, but then before I speak to one of the community members, this is where the memorial is going to take place. It is going to be a candlelight memorial where uh, there will be community members uh, coming here to pray with the family, but any, uh, more than anything, but then also asking uh, for justice for Jana Fori, as you can see there. Uh, of course, it's left many here uh, still, you know, baffled uh, about how such a young life could be lost. I want to bring you in, uh, Ma, uh, just uh, to speak to us here. Um, of course, you one of the organizations here in the community that are trying to fight uh, the issues of drugs. How is this all affected you here, and which organization are you from? I'm from a Divine Intervention. We're working with the Sophia Town Police Station, and we are here to fight crime in, in this area. It's very sad about this little girl that lost her life for something like drugs. And, and that is why we start working here. I've got my pastor, my, he's our leader, Pastor Mark here, and Father, uh, Father Peter. We are from different churches, and we have adopted this place to try and get it in order. Because crime is our children, and our children is the future of tomorrow. And if we can't start fighting crime now, what is going to happen with our children? Uh, you know, I think that is why the police called us together to start this, it's because their hands is also off. They've got a lot of work to do. And now they've started us to start working in these areas. And we ask this community, work with us. We want to stop crime. We want to, uh, to, to bury it, because our children's life is so important to us. And I'm sure as a community in mourning today, you're coming here in mourning with heavy hearts. That is correct. That is why we are here, because we feel with this parents, it's like one of our children. It's a community children, but it's one like one of our children, because we adopt this, and we don't want to see this in our community. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Uh, there was just one of the community members here, part of an organization that is trying to help this community as far as some of the social ills are concerned. Of course, we saw also residents yesterday uh, taking to the streets in a different matter, uh, uh, raising the issue of unemployment here in this community and job opportunities, which uh, they say, uh, you know, the, the issue of Unemployment is also contributing uh, to the drugs and the gang-related activities in this community. So it's a community in mourning, but then that is coming together to condemn what has happened here and, of course, to grieve and call for an end to the bloodshed in this community, more especially of the youngest in this community. Yeah, 11-year-old Jana Furi. Thank you very much, uh, Mangoba Mkun, for that update from Westbury, the community gathering together to pray for the family.